Hey everybody and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to mod Bone Lab on your MetaQuest 2. Before we get into the tutorial, if at any point you're struggling or have any questions, make sure you read the description as well as the pinned comment as I try and answer the most frequently asked questions in those two places. If you're still having issues and can't find an answer, feel free to leave a comment of your own as I try and answer every single comment. In order to complete today's tutorial, you are going to need a few things. For starters, you're going to need a VR headset. You're also going to need a copy of Bone Lab on your Quest, a PC that is capable of opening up web pages and downloading data. It does not have to be a VR ready PC by any means. It does not have to run any VR games. All it has to be able to do is transfer over files from the internet to your headset. Then lastly, you're going to need a cable that can transfer data. This cable does need to be able to be plugged into your headset, which means it has to have a USB-C male on one end, and then on the other end, it can either have a USB or a USB-C, anything that you can use to plug it into your computer. However, you have to make sure that this cable transfers data as well as power, because if it only transfers power, it will not work. Now that all of that is out of the way, let's hop into the tutorial. The first step is downloading some mods. In order to find these mods, you want to head to mod.io slash g slash bone lab, or you can click on the link in the description. Once you arrive at the page that you see on screen, you want to head over to that left side there where there's the menu, and then select Android. This will remove all of the mods built for PC VR, leaving you with only the mods that are capable of running on your Quest. From here, you can search for the mods that you want to get. In the case of this tutorial, I'm going to be getting the Gorilla Tag Map mod. To do this, I'm going to click on the mod, which will open up its page. Once on its page, I have to search for the downloadable file. In this case, it's going to be on the right side here under versions. You're going to want to get the latest version for Android. Make sure you're not getting the Windows one. You want to get the one for Android. So click on that, scroll down a little bit, and then click on the download link. This might be in a different location depending on which mod you're getting, but just look around the page for a download link. A zipped up file should begin to download, just wait for that to finish, and then we can move on. For the case of this tutorial, I'm going to drag the zip file to my desktop, that way it's easier for you guys to see. However, you can leave this file in your downloads folder if it's easier for you. Now that you have your mod downloaded, it's time to plug your headset into your PC. Plug one end of your cable into the charging port on your Quest 2, and then the other into your PC. Once you've done that, put on your headset, click Allow Access, and Allow ADB Debugging. If you do not accept these, you will not be able to transfer files from your PC to your headset. If you're having difficulties pulling these up, I recommend checking out the video link down in the description, or you can click on the I up in the top right. This will take you to a separate video of mine where I teach you how to create an organization and how to turn on developer mode. With that out of the way, you should now have access to see your Quest 2 files on your PC. This next segment is going to be a little different depending on if you're a Windows user or a Mac user. I use Windows, so for this tutorial you're going to see the Windows setup, however I do have a video link down below that'll walk you through if you're on Mac. Click the file folder on your desktop in order to open up Windows Explorer. From here, head up to the directory path at the top and copy and paste the directory from the description. This should take you to your Bone Labs directory, that way you can just paste the mods in here. However, this might not work for everybody as they may have different file slash folder names. If that is the case, you can go through and watch what I do on screen to do it manually. Once you have successfully made it to your mods folder, you need to head to your downloaded mod file and extract it. Once you've extracted the file, take that entire folder and copy and paste it into your mods folder. Once you've done that, you've completed the modding process and you've officially added a new mod to Bone Lab. All you have to do now is hop into Bone Lab and then you can access your mods. To access your avatars, go over to where you'd access your avatars normally in game and you should see your new modded avatars. In my case, I selected the new Gorilla Tag Monkey and I'm not gonna lie, he's looking kinda snazzy. If you wanna access your other mods such as spawnables and modded maps, you'll have to head to the Bone Lab hub. From there, head over to the mod section. At the mod section, click on mod levels, and then select whatever level you would like to jump into. In order to spawn in modded items, you must use the spawn gun. The spawn gun can be located in sandboxes or sometimes in modded maps. If you'd like to be able to spawn in modded items everywhere, you're actually going to have to complete the game. Once you've completed the game, you'll have access to the spawn gun 
in your lab hub. And then from there, what you can do is actually head over to the mod section, click on downloads, then head into settings. And then in settings, you can enable developer mode by clicking enable, confirming, and then if you reboot, you should have access to the spawn gun in your inventory anywhere you go. Navigating through the spawn gun menu, you should be able to find the mods tab. In the mods tab, you'll have access to all of your spawnable modded items, which you can then spawn in. In all honesty, I haven't actually been successful in spawning any modded items. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if it's erroring somewhere, if I have bugs, but I have been struggling with that. So if you have a fix for that, please let me know in the comments below. As always, if this video was able to help you out, a like would be greatly appreciated as it allows it to hit more people's eyes. That way more people can mod Bone Lab. Along with that, if you want to see more tutorials as well as just quest content in general, maybe consider subscribing and hit that notification bell if you want to check out some of my live streams. Once again, I'd like to reiterate, if you have any questions whatsoever, please read the comments as well as the description before leaving your own comment. However, if you can't find anyone else with your problem or a solution for your problem, feel free to comment it down below as I do try and read every single comment. If I don't read your comment, you can try joining my Discord, which is also linked down below, and through that you should be able to contact me in some way, shape, or form. As a little reward for all of you who have made it to the end of this tutorial and hopefully gotten through the process of modding Bone Lab, I've in fact hidden a $100 Oculus gift code somewhere throughout this video. If you're lucky enough to find it, all you have to do is head into your Oculus app and then under your account, you can redeem the code. If you're not in the US, this code might not work. It's worth giving it a shot. However, sometimes the codes don't work if you are outside the US. I'm sorry, that's just kind of how they work. Thank you to Meta for supplying me with this code to give to you all. And thank you to my members for being absolute mad lads and supporting every single one of these videos. From my long-term mama bears to my brand new little lettuces, thank you so much for all the help. If you don't know what a membership is, it's basically that thing after you click that join button that shows up, after you click that subscribe button, that basically allows you to donate monthly in order to get certain perks and rewards. For just $1 a month, you can become a little lettuce, which I highly encourage that you do if you check out the live streams, as it allows you to use a bunch of these little emotes that I created for the channel. Along with that, you get a little badge that allows you to differentiate yourself from all the other commenters. I know, I know, I know, the self-promo won't end, but there's just one last thing. If you haven't yet, please check out my TikTok link down below, as well as my Instagram and Twitter. I've been trying to build a little bit more of a community around this channel rather than just the main YouTube channel itself, as I do want to talk with you guys some more and then just generally voice my opinions about VR and what I expect from the future. So if you guys want to hear some of that or see some of that, or just see some cool photos of me with my new Quest Pro, make sure you follow those. But with that being said, I will see you on the next one. Hopefully this helped out. And peace out, everybody. Bye.